Hi, I'm Gary Fish from Gary's Wine and Marketplace, here with Phil Unger to talk about champagne. Love champagne. I could drink champagne any time of the year. Love the bubbles. There's all types of champagne. First, I'm going to show you how to open champagne, and then Phil and I are going to tell you a little bit about some of the different styles and what we picked. Uh, when opening champagne, it's very important that, that there's a lot of pressure in here, and it could definitely explode out of the bottle. What I like to do is keep the foil on first. and then slowly unwind, unwind it. Once I have it unwound, I now take the foil off, keeping my thumb on the top just in case it's going to explode, because you don't want to explode it. Take the foil, now we have, take off the top. Then what I'm doing is I'm twisting the bottle, keeping the hand with the cork on it straight. Then you get that beautiful sound. And as I get ready to pour this, Phil's going to tell us a little bit about the three champagnes we picked and tell us a little bit more about champagne. Well, we have three different champagnes here tonight. The first one is Charles Elsner, and this is a Brut, which is one of the classic styles of champagne. The second wine we have is a Blanc de Blanc, and the third one is a Rosé. The Brut is a blend typically of three different grapes, the great Champagne grapes, which is Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. The Blanc de Blanc, 100% Chardonnay. And the last Champagne we have is a Rosé, which gets a little bit of color from the skins of the grapes. Enough talking. I think what we do is let's, let's taste the Elner. It's got some of that nice yeasty toastiness yep. you get in the nose. Crispness, nice acidity. A long finish, good flavor. You know, it's funny, it's got enough acidity to go with food, but it's not so acidic that you need, that you have to have food. No, it's a good, it's a wonderful nice example of champagne. Elner's is a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And now, Phil? And this is the Blanc de Blanc, so this is 100% Chardonnay. And here you're going to get a whole other quality to this wine. Wonderful crispness, wonderful Chardonnay uh, fruit to this. You can see the color here is definitely lighter. Yes. The Elner had more of a goldish color, yep. where this is definitely a lighter. To me, it comes across a little sweeter. Yep. Definitely sweeter. I don't think it has as much acidity, or it's not showing me as much acidity. No. But great balance. What do you think? Yeah, excellent. And this is, this is a wonderful food wine. When you start talking about matching foods, this is a wonderful food wine as well. And our last one for today is? Well, now we have the rosé. And I love rosé uh, champagnes. They're just fabulous. Look at the color. Watch when we pour it. You get some color. To me, it's almost like a salmon color, mm -hmm. which, of course, makes me think of smoked salmon. And this would work great with salmon. Sushi, this is a great match for sushi. Look at that beautiful color. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And, and also, we didn't talk about it, but the bubbles are tiny, going right up the center of the yeah. glass. Shows that it's good quality. You get more, almost a little bit berry flavor in the nose. Berry. There's a little bit of an earthiness, too, that Pinot Noir in here. Yummy. Right. Really very, good. very good. Yeah. This is something, it's, it's exciting. It's actually, it, it gives you your whole, you get a lot more excitement in your mouth, more yeah. flavor. Yeah. It, if you like champagne, these are three great examples of champagne. Celebrate with. Phil, thanks for your help today. My pleasure. Cheers, enjoy.